Hey gang, Jason with House of Jacobs coming to you with another five minute tip. You're playing video games on your stream, whether it be on Twitch, YouTube, or whatever, and you might not have a lot of viewers, or you might have a lot of viewers that are all hyped up and everybody's forgetting to clip that awesome thing that just happened. Well, I'm here to show you two different ways on how to set up your stream deck to capture clips for you so that you don't have to ask people to do it for you anymore because how bad is it to go, quick, clip that, clip that, somebody clip that. Kind of ruins the clip. All right, guys, so there's two main ways that you could, that I've found that you can put some type of clipping capability onto your stream deck. I'm going to focus on the stream deck. I feel like most people have one or you can actually download one for your phone and that will work as well. Uh, one, I'm going to show you how to do it through Twitch and number two, I'm gonna show you how to do it through OBS. These are quick setups, should not take a long time, okay? All right, first we're gonna pull up the stream deck. Uh, what you're gonna want to do is go up here to this little settings thing. You're gonna grab accounts and you're going to sign in to one of your accounts. You just push this little plus down here, put on whatever account you want, and then what you will have is that it populates this thing down here on the Twitch. Very simple. What you're gonna do is grab this cool little create a clip thing, drag it over onto whatever scene you want, and when you push that, it will grab the last 30 seconds of your stream. That's very simple, very easy, but say you want more than 30 seconds. You want to be in, or say you don't use Twitch at all. Well, here's another way to do it, this time through OBS. It requires a little bit more playing around, but with this one, you get the last 30 seconds. It's fantastic, it's good, it helps you make clips, put them out to social media. But let's say you don't have Twitch, you're streaming to YouTube, what do you want to do? Here's how you do it that way. All right, for this one, we're gonna open up OBS. This is a little bit more complicated. We're gonna go to settings. When your settings come up, you're going to want to go to output. You're gonna to wanna to go to replay buffer and make sure that you enable a replay buffer. Then this is how many seconds you want that replay buffer to go for. The longer that you put, the bigger amount of memory usage that this use, memory being RAM. Once you have that set up, you go to general and you want to make sure to put automatically start replay buffer when streaming. You wanna make sure to click that so that any time that you stream, your replay buffer will start and have, it'll keep a five minute backlog of everything that you've done. If you put it at 300 seconds, you can put it at 30 seconds, 90 seconds, whatever you want, okay? All right, once you do that, you're going to want to go to this hotkeys button, go up to filter and you're gonna put in replay. What that will do is that will bring up everything that has a replay. You've got a start replay buffer, you've got a stop replay buffer, but our buffer is already gonna be running. So what you're gonna want to do is a save replay button. And when, that, when you do that, what will happen is you press some type of hotkey, I made mine page up, and then that will save the last five minutes of the stream to wherever you've put your stuff to. So when you go to recordings, wherever you put this recording path to, under recording, under the output, that is where that five minutes of stream buffering will go to, okay? Uh, if you've done a minute and you push it, it'll do a minute, whatever you want, okay? Then you can go back and edit that, it makes it very simple. Now, how do you get that on your stream deck, you ask? Well, let's pull up our stream deck right here. What you're gonna go to do is come to your systems, you're gonna grab this hotkey switch, or hotkey right here, throw that bad boy on there, and then you're going to click page up. And you know what? Every time you hit that, it will dump that replay. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, so once you push start streaming, your stream will go out, and as you see, that automatically pulls up this relay buffer. This button over here is that save button. So when you press your little page up here, you'll see that it does a little replay buffer saved right down here in the corner, and then it saves it to that folder. And then right here is our replay, right where, right under video editing where I have it stored. You pull that up. This is only gonna be a few seconds of the replay right here, and it would save up to 
five minutes. And that's it, five minute tips putting on two different ways that you can do this. Personally, I like the OBS way. I feel like I have a lot more control. And then if you are a Twitch partner or Twitch affiliate, you can actually take your clips when you're done and upload them back to Twitch if you so decide to use OBS and not the fancy little uh, Twitch clips. Anyways, thanks a lot, guys. Sub, like, share this video with your friends, and we'll see you next time on House Jacobs.